Nice boat. It's uh, it was a little slow. Yeah, is that how you came here? It was a long journey. From where? From uh, <laughs> Belfast? It was from Belfast. <laughs> I don't know. I ended up in Belfast, but uh, there I was cruising around with Polly. Polly Woodside. Polly Woodside. That's it's a nice boat. It is a nice. You boat. boat. You actually do boat. I do sail. Yeah. Well, you've been with me once. I've been drinking wine on <laughs> you your were, boat. You drank wine on the boat. <laughs> you didn't do much uh, pulling of the sheets or anything. But, uh, no, and I have to be honest, I didn't actually come here to Melbourne, Australia, with the boat. It would no? have been fun. It would have been fun. Uh, you know, a few hundred years ago. Yeah. But uh, now I took a plane and I came here. And um, I'm excited to be here, man. I know. Here we are in Melbourne. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in Australia. And, and uh, I have a story I'll share later about uh, the some of my friends here but we're here for the Australia Cyber Conference 2024 here in Melbourne it's hosted by the AISA and uh, Kosh Mattel and Megan uh, thanks for bringing us out and, and uh, bringing tons of stories together for us and thanks week. to Abbas Kudrati to making this happen and making right. introduction the so the thank you connection. Abbas we owe you one yes absolutely and of course cybersecurity conference for me, it's all about stories of operationalizing security. So how do we take the technology and bring it to the business so that we can actually run business safely and uh, not kill our teams in the process and, and do it in, in, uh, in alignment with policy and law, wherever yeah. those policies and laws might exist in Australia and Singapore, elsewhere around the world, right? Whatever broke your boat. <laughs> That's your thing. My thing is, number one, I'm excited we're back. It's been right. a few years since few when years. we were in this region and that we used to come here for Singapore for uh, RSA conference. Yeah, back and in the day when we had to sail by boat. Yeah, back. It's been, a, it's been a while. Not that, not that long, but it's not been a while. Long, yeah. So excited to be back in another part of this uh, down under, uh, whatever people like to call it. Exciting, great food, great company, great people. I'm excited to make new friends. But to go back to what you're saying, my perspective is not much about the business. Maybe the small, medium business is more about how individual and society work together and uh, use technology in the right way. And cybersecurity allow us to run our life, run our business uh, with privacy in mind and other thing that allow us to be human. So a shout out to uh, Megan actually that uh, introduced us or my show has been technology and culture. Yeah, I usually culture. say technology and society, but I think I'm going to steal that one because it's, <laughs> it is more about the culture and the technology that then drip into society and the other way around. Yeah. So. Those are the conversations I'm excited to have. Absolutely. And we're gonna have many conversations. I know, so we had Akash on the show to introduce uh, the event, so everybody should have a quick look at that. Uh, we've already had a great chat with Joe Sullivan, and we have uh, Miko Hypenin lined up, and a host of other conversations, like five or six a day or something like that. Yeah, they're gonna put uh, us so in a room and throw the key. That's right. <laughs> For lock, three hours, lock us up. four hours and, every day. And uh, we're gonna have, have some really good chats, everything from like I said, policy and privacy to uh, operations and, and driving driving culture. And the human the elements the human in elements, cybersecurity. So, which AISA is very much about uh, looking at uh, yeah, hiring and, and keeping, uh, keeping folks yeah. safely busy, yeah. right? mentally safely busy. Yeah. So we, we're wearing two hats. Mine yeah. is... You know. prevent fire wildfire is mine. Yeah, it's, it's only you. You know, <laughs> it's, it's always been my message and since go. when I'm in cybersecurity because I love, you know, what, uh, what this campaign yes. has done. You, on the other hand, has an AI it, on your yeah, hat. I have what, an AI tell me about that, that. Uh, I often wonder that when I got this hat, <laughs> I don't know how many years ago, I'll, I'll say 25-ish years, might be closer to 30 years ago. Uh, uh, this, is an, this is an AV hat from AV. Uh, antivirus uh, from Peter Norton Group when I was at Symantec. And the reason I'm ha I have this uh, roughly 30-year-old hat on, uh, and I brought it from the States with me to Australia, is it reminds me of my interaction and collaboration with the team here at Symantec when I worked there that 
helped me understand more about culture, the need for understanding how different parts of the world have an impact. The, the, the well, yeah, different, the different parts of the world, global perspective on on cybersecurity, and more importantly, understanding the the value of listening and learning and managing quality in comparison to to uh, timing of delivery and cost of delivery. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to meet some, I know Tim Hartman is here, who I worked with way back then, and was part of this story with me. So I'm, I'm excited to see him. Who knows who else might show up from Symantec from back you in know, the day. Here's one thing I like about your you know, a walk on uh, back on memory lane is because there is a lot of professionals and this conversation we just had with Joe Sullivan, mm. we talked about MySpace, <laughs> we talked right. about him being in this industry forever when he was even, you know, he was in an industry that you didn't even know existed back then, but it was the, the business of security mm. already. And so listening to the people that have gone through this, from different part of the world, listening to the new generation, the way they approach it, the digital natives, uh, that's something very important for me. Learning from the past, yeah. being in the present, and looking at the future, which, you see what I did there? I did, I see what you did. That's the theme. It's the theme. Future is now. Future is now. The future of future. There's no the, it's just future. Uh, it's much bigger. It is much bigger. Right. It is much bigger. Right. So I want to, uh, maybe as a final thought for me and whatever you want to close with, but it struck me that Joe Sullivan pointedly said he's not just showing up to speak. He has a keynote. But he's here to actually absorb and converse and learn, yeah. again, for the benefit in the future of, of the CISO role, benefit of cyber programs throughout the world. Um, we have a lot to learn from each other, and that, for me, uh, is part of the big reason that I'm excited to be here in Australia and within the APJ region, is to understand the different cultures and the different way we view things. Not just to look in on it, but to also take back from what we experience here yeah. and learn how that applies yeah. to other yeah, parts Yeah, I'm, I'm going to close with that. Uh, we're going to be talking with a lot of people in the government here uh -huh. in Australia and, and other parts of this this region. And that's a mission that has been very, very important for ITSP magazine, which is this too. Since when we began in we began to cover yeah. conferences. You know, at the beginning we did our own you know, Black Hat was a you know happy yeah. birthday yeah, we always event Black and Hats, yeah. you know RSA. But we wanted to reach out immediately because it's important for us the global the global view. And, and I know people like Joe, people like yeah. you, me, and, and many others. That's why we go to conference in other part of the world. It's, it's a problem that we can address much better and, and turn it into a value if we do it together. Yeah. You can't just build a wall around it or to go through the borders. We need to do it together. Yeah. And that's why it's important to be here, 26, 27, 28. Yep. Right here, right here, this building that here, building. not on that boat, although I'll try to jump <laughs> on that boat one of these days. Uh, <laughs> take me out of prison if, I, if they got me. There you go. Um, you but bail? no, we're excited. Australian bail money? I don't know. Yeah, we know some people. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. you guys. Well, this is going to be super fun. I'm excited to be here. Hopefully you'll, you'll track us down, uh, come up, say hello, give us a hug if we know you. Um, Excited to make new friends and have some great conversations to tell some stories yeah. uh, with each other and with our audience uh, around the world. And uh, thanks to the AIS, AISA team for uh, helping pull all this together for us. Yep. And uh, it's going to be a good week. It's going to be a great week. If you see us in the corridor, say Trip hello. Him. Say hello either with a hat or without the hat. I won't be wearing a hat this week. You won't be wearing a hat. I don't know. It depends how good my hair is in the morning. But no, we're excited. We want to see you there. And uh, we're going to have conversation off camera. Not everything needs to be on camera. Just to chat around and catch up and make new friends. So we'll see you soon. See you all there. watching you.